Good morning, everybody. It's 65 degrees. It is warm already, which is funny how just a couple days ago it was like really cold in the morning. So we are um, trying to beat the storms today. It's supposed to storm somewhere in the range of 1231 o'clock. So I'm hoping to be to Boiling Springs by that time. So we're going from mile 1115 to about 1123, I believe. So it's about eight miles and to, trying to stay dry. So thanks for coming with me. Let's take a walk. A little bit mushy right here. Hasn't rained in a couple days. Wonder if we're going straight up and over that. I'm gonna to try to put this in perspective. We are going straight up. Reach the top. I was wrong, that's not the top. We're still going, we're going up over these rocks. At least there's a cool rock formation. So let's see what's up here. I don't wanna be standing there when that rock comes down, as it will. Okay, rock maze part two. <laughs> we are at Whiskey Springs Road. Who would have known that whiskey comes from springs? So down there is kind of flat right off the ridge, but we're not walking there. We're gonna go through rocks up on top of the ridge. I just wanna point out that these rocks are all at the same angle. You know, while I'm talking about rocks, something I've noticed just in the last couple of days, that a lot of these rocks have like stones in them and it doesn't look like sea creatures. I haven't seen anything that looked like a trilobite or anything like that. I'm not sure why it's different, but it is. So we're both standing here looking at each other trying to decide how we get across this. see the shelter. I don't think I'm going to go there today because I'm trying to beat that storm. The clouds are starting to move in. I can feel the breeze. One more hill today. I hope we're not going just up on top of that for no reason. That rocks. Green and black, a little bit of yellow. That rock is red and black with a little bit of yellow. 
I'm thinking it might be marble, I'm not sure. Made it to the top. Center point knob. Somebody brought that plaque up here, mounted it. I looked at my guidebook to see why this was here. This was the original midpoint for the Appalachian Trail. I'm not sure why it was here, but anyway, I, th I think it started later. Anyway, I'll have to do some research. Another milestone. Welcome to the Cumberland Valley. The next 17 miles, I think, pretty much go through grass and pasture, so I am really excited. <laughs> I'm betting this will never show up on video, but there's these sinkholes right in this section. I don't know why, and that's about six feet deep. There's one right over here. Ah, oh, you can't see these at all in the video. There's one right up here around the corner, and I don't know if they were like a pit to get flint or something like that. It's just interesting that these, that's a big one. It's just interesting that these are right here in the woods. Okay, you'll definitely be able to see this pit. <laughs> this one's huge. I mean, it's probably 25, 30 feet across. So, I don't know if there's any way I can research this and figure out why these pits are here. Coming down the mountain, we're starting to get leaves. Ooh, the trail maintainers are hard at work. We have a new bridge. Thanks, guys. We are officially off the mountain. I smell cows. So my plan was to make it to Boiling Springs before the rain hits. I see the clouds. Let's see if we can do it. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm spoiled walking through a field. <laughs> Winter wheat looks good. Wind is picking up. <laughs> oh, I make it. So obviously when we get to railroad tracks, we are near a town and that is Bowling Springs right there. There's the Boiling Springs Iron Furnace. We'll go over and take a look. another town that was dependent on the iron industry. This one still has that brick center in it. There's a stone wall right behind the furnace because there would have been a structure built around here to load in the iron ore and the lime and the coal from the top. I 
guys right there. I don't know. You can wave. <laughs> so this is the ATC uh, Mid Region Office closed. It's a recurring theme. We're gonna call it a day right here at the Boiling Springs Iron Furnace. It was a good day. We had some we had five ups and downs, and I was probably kind of snarky. I might edit that out, but <laughs> yeah, I guess that's part of the deal. But the uh, the last two miles, we were walking through a wheat field, and I realized that I was just walking with a big stupid grin on my face because it was so nice. But uh, kind of cool to come into the history here. I'm gonna check around Boiling Springs a little bit, get some lunch, and uh, we'll pick it up here tomorrow. So thanks for coming along. And remember, where we're going, we don't need roads.